Programming language, do you understand them in depth? Hello guys, welcome. In this episode, we're going to talk about a programming language. What is, how it works, and a little bit more of information in depth. So basically, what's a software? A software is a series of commands that tells a computer hardware, actually, what to do, right? We already have been seeing this in the previous episodes. And what is a programming language? A programming language is actually a way of communicating with that computer or that har hardware, right? So how does this set of instructions work and how are defined? There are two types of programming languages. And the first side, we have the low-level programming languages. And these low-level programming languages have two paths. The first one is the machine language. So do you remember that we were speaking about binary code? That's a machine language, basically a bunch of one and zeros. Uh, this is the only way that actually um, a language communicates directly with a hardware, right? With binary code, one and zeros. Nobody writes one and zeros, we already saw that. And then we have the second type of uh, low-level language that is the assembly language. So basically, an assembly language is a more readable way also of communicating with the computer. And how does this work? The assembly language cannot go and communicate directly with the computer. It has to first be translated into machine language and then the machine language communicate with the computer. So basically, the assembly language tells, translates into a machine language and the machine language is the one communicating with the computer, again, with one and zeros. These low-level languages are not used anymore directly because we have the second type that are the high-level languages. The high-level languages basically are languages that communicates to the computer first, communicating to a compiler, the compiler translates this into machine language and then to the computer. And what's the difference between a high-level language and a low-level language? That a high-level language basically uses English and uh, also mathematics. So it's a combination between English and mathematics that translates to a compiler and the compiler translates it into a machine language. And that's how computer languages work. Some examples, of course, of uh, high-level languages we can, again, name C, C++, Java, Python. Now, nowadays that you are hearing about programming languages, we are almost sure that we are talking about high-level languages and uh, within the different types. We're going to check curious things and information about programming languages in our next episodes. Uh, for now, I hope this information has been useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe right over here and hit a like button. So like this, you will keep in supporting us. I hope you have a really good week and see you the next week, Friday 4 p.m. Bye guys.